a high enough familiarity level of this species that we can now cultivate its saplings by constructing the cultivator building. We can continue gathering research samples to improve our knowledge about this or any other species. technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting.
It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth. in this area, but it is not concentrated enough for my equipment to extract it. We have to search for it elsewhere. Hmm, there's a lot of these bulbous mushrooms growing here. They're feeding off of the hasnite from the soil and crystallizing it in a form that can be harvested. If we could accelerate their growth, then we could extract the hasnite using these natural organisms. We could construct a cultivator in this area to accelerate the growth of these mushrooms. 
We will need to supply it with filtered water to make it operational. Okay, let's get it done. close to another portal. The cultivator is operational. It will require some time to bring these mushrooms to the size when we can harvest them in an efficient manner. We can automate the process of gathering resources by constructing a harvester building close to the cultivator. Excellent. I have a feeling that we should strengthen our defenses while we're waiting for the growth cycle to complete. Whenever we try to exploit any of the natural resources on this planet, we get attacked by hordes of aggressive creatures.
Enemies in this area can hide from our sensors. They are not as numerous as in the other parts of this biome, but they can be even more dangerous. Be wary, Ashley. I will not be able to warn you of incoming attacks. Air humidity is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. It's raining. It will decrease the output from solar panels until it stops. Base is under attack. One of our buildings has been destroyed. The rain is over. Turns out that some things are not as different as back on Earth.
base is We've gathered enough hazelite to start crafting new equipment. Ashley, we can stay here and harvest more minerals, or we can return to our primary objectives. Buildings has been destroyed. Base is under attack. Successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before, and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going to be easy. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. I have located an acidic yeast colony route nearby. You can check its location on the map. Thank you. 
wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Efficiency is back to normal. Okay, this looks like the central route of the colony. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Research lab operational. 
Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. The wind is very slow today. Blueprints are available for crafting. Technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Wind is picking up again. New technologies are available for development. Research completed.
through analyzing the root of the acidic yeast colony. The data is already looking very promising. Ashley, since you built up our research station in this area, I've noticed a change in the growth vector of the acidic yeast colonies around us. It appears that all of them are slowly growing in our direction. That's very interesting. It looks like we've been recognized as a threat. The colonies are trying to devour our base. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. Orbital scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a few areas within the acidic plains that are entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones. Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. Successful. Orbital scanning indicated 
that there should be multiple underground palladium deposits hidden in this area. We can use the geo scanner to find them. It's actually quite calm in here. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local fauna population also seems to be smaller than in the other areas of this biome. Ashley, I have located a large underground palladium deposit. I have marked its location on our map. Great. The ones we've been finding so far were really small. Maybe we can find something that we can place an automated mining station on. Danger! Underground explosion detected! A giant mushroom just exploded under our feet! I didn't expect that. We can use the geoscanner to detect hidden explosives underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields, but we can use it here as well. This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. The palladium deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. 
However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. Successful. Gravitational anomaly detected. Gravitational strength 0.56 G. Magnetic field anomaly detected. My sensors are receiving a lot of interference. Wow. The parameters in this area are crazy. It's like a completely different planet. The gravity in this place is acting weird. Something must be causing this. Ashley. Let's focus on finding the titanium deposit that should be somewhere in this area. We can triangulate its position by building a network of radar stations. You're right. We can investigate what's causing these anomalies as we move forward. We can place the radar stations in the safe zones created by the cryo plants. We can also construct cryo stations of our own. However, they require titanium to be built. We can find small amounts of titanium by harvesting cryo plants. Building cryo stations won't make much sense until we can find a much larger titanium deposit. Let's not waste titanium unless it's necessary. technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for orbital scanning. Finished. We have calculated a favorable location for palladium mining outpost. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies in this area. That's good. Maybe there will be fewer exploding mushrooms in that area. Either way, we should remember to use the geoscanner frequently.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. Not enough AI cores. Build more AI hubs. Okay, we've built the first radar station. It isn't easy to provide enough power in this biome. The atmosphere is very thick, and it's reducing the effectiveness of wind and solar generators. We will need a few additional radar stations to triangulate the position of the titanium deposit. Try to place them as far from each other as possible. They need to cover a wide area.
There's a dense ash cloud on the horizon. It's coming our way. It's going to get dark soon. The sky is covered in ash and dust. Our solar panels are useless now. is clearing up. Base operations returning to nominal levels. Too close to another portal.
A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. stations to locate the titanium deposit. I am marking its approximate position on our map. Excellent. Let's go there and search for it with the geoscanner. We've got it, but the amount of titanium in this deposit is not impressive to say the least. It is enough to provide data for the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits on the ground. Okay, let's start the orbital scanning procedure. We have to find more titanium. Orbital scanning in progress. Searching for traces of titanium within the planet's volcanic zone. This will take some time to complete. Orbital scanning finished. We've located a new planetary location with larger underground titanium deposits. Warning, the volcanoes in that area are very active. Make sure to equip any armor enhancements that we have available before going there. Research completed.
of jumps successful. Orbital scanning was correct. I am detecting multiple rich palladium deposits nearby. Warning, acidic yeast activity is very high in this area. Okay, let's look for an easily defendable position near a palladium deposit. And remember to build our base on anti-corrosive floor tiles. This biome is not going to give up its resources easily. Once we establish a permanent outpost, we could also try to destroy the roots of the acidic yeast colonies. That should stop them from spreading further. That could adversely change the ecological balance of this biome. Let's treat that option as a last resort.